Welcome to instruction on stitch modes for the Tin Lizzy ESP long arm quilting machine. Presented by Tin Lizzy, your affordable long arm quilters. Elegant, sophisticated, precise. Your Tin Lizzy ESP quilting machine will have you experiencing long arm quilting on a whole new level. It allows quilters total freedom with options galore. All you have to do is think it, touch it, quilt it. The different stitch modes available on the Tin Lizzy ESP machine will give you any options you choose for the technique being used in quilting. There are four stitch modes available on your Tin Lizzy ESP machine. They are Lizzy, Based, Idle, and Manual. Each of these stitch modes can also be assigned to the soft touch buttons on the handlebars for easy access to your favorite stitch mode. The stitch modes are selected using the touch button on the display screen. Simply touch the button and it will advance to the next stitch mode. Choose the stitch mode from Lizzie, Based, Idle, and Manual. Let's go over each of these modes. For all of the stitch modes, begin by bringing up the bobbin thread doing a tie-off and trimming the threads to keep the back of the quilt neat and tidy. After the end of the stitching, for all the stitch modes, tie off, move the machine off to the side to release some thread, then bring the machine back to the tie-off stitch, do a full rotation of the needle, bring up the bobbin thread, and trim both threads. Let's begin looking at the stitch modes by selecting the Lizzie stitch mode function. The Lizzie stitch is your main stitch regulation mode. In this mode, the faster the machine is moved, the faster the motor runs. The slower the machine is moved, the slower the motor runs. When the machine is stopped, stitching stops and the machine will wait for you to move it again. Begin in the Lizzie mode by setting the SPI or stitches per inch. The range may be set from 4 to 22 stitches per inch. Choose the stitches per inch by pressing the plus icon to increase the stitches per inch, creating a shorter stitch length. Press the minus icon to decrease the number of stitches per inch, thus having a longer stitch length. Set the stitch length you would like for the project that you are working on. After the stitch length is set, pull up the bobbin thread, tie off, and trim the threads. Press the Start Stop Soft Touch button and the middle of the screen will change and show ready to move. Just move the machine and the machine starts stitching left or right, forward or backward. When you are finished stitching, press the Start Stop button to cease the stitching or simply stop the machine movement and the stitching will stop. If for some reason you need to walk away from the machine without having pressed the Start Stop button, after a set amount of time the stitch mode will automatically turn off. When you are ready to resume stitching, just press the Start Stop button and move the machine to begin stitching again. Once you have completed your stitching, either press the tie off icon or assign soft touch button to create a finish knot, bring up the bobbin thread to the top, and trim both threads to keep the back of the quilt neat and tidy as instructed at the beginning of this video. The next stitch mode to look at is the base stitch, which may be used to base the quilt top to start a new quilt. It helps hold the top, batting, and backing all together. The great thing about the basting stitch is it is easily removed when the quilting has been completed. In the base mode, first select the stitches per inch, which may be set from 1 to 3. To select the stitch length, press the plus icon or minus icon. The stitch lengths look like this, with 1 being the longest. The basting stitch may be done backward and forward, left and right.
When you are ready to baste on the quilt top, move the machine to where you wish to begin the basting stitch. Begin by bringing up the bobbin thread, tie off, and trim the threads. To secure the quilt top to the backing and batting, select the stitch length, press the start button, and baste across the top of the quilt top. Basting may also be done at each side of the quilt as well. Bring up the bobbin thread, tie off, and trim the threads. Press the Start Stop Soft Touch button and the icon will change to Ready to Move. Move the machine and sew the basting row of stitching. At the end of the row, tie off and trim the threads. The third stitch mode is Idle. The Idle Stitch Mode is another stitch regulated mode that adjusts the speed of the stitching with the movement of the machine. The thing to note about this mode is that when the start button is pressed, the needle immediately starts going up and down. Even when the machine movement is stopped, the needle will continue to stitch up and down in place where the machine is positioned. The start stop button needs to be pressed to stop the machine stitching. After selecting the idle mode, select the stitches per inch ranging from 1 to 22 by pressing the plus icon to increase or minus icon to decrease the stitch length by one each time you press these icons. Set the desired stitch length. In the idle stitch mode, the motor speed may also be adjusted. The speed may be adjusted from 5% to 30%. Tap the plus icon or minus icon on the display screen to increase or decrease the motor speed by 5% each time you tap the icon. If you are brand new to this Tin Lizzy stitch mode, Begin with a range of 20 to 30 percent and then adjust the speed as you wish once you are comfortable working at this machine speed. When you are ready to stitch, press the start stop soft touch button or icon. Now a word of caution, remember in this stitch mode once you start the machine the needle immediately begins going up and down. Move the machine and stitch away. Again the idle stitch mode is another stitch regulated mode that adjusts the speed of stitching with the movement of the machine as you can hear. The needle continually stitches until the start stop button is pressed. If for some reason you need to take a break from stitching in this mode, unlike the Lizzie stitch mode, you cannot just stop and walk away because the needle will continue to go up and down even after the machine stops moving. Press the start stop button to stop the needle stitching. When you come back to resume stitching, press the start stop button to begin stitching where you left off. As you are stitching, think ahead to where you wish the stitching to stop and then move to that point. To stop the stitching, press the Start Stop button once again. Create a knot by pressing the icon, pull up the bobbin thread, and trim the threads just like with the other stitch modes. The final stitch mode is the Manual Stitch Mode. In the Manual Stitch Mode, the Tin Lizzy motto is Get Ready, Get Set, Go! In this mode, the needle begins cycling immediately and the person operating the machine becomes the stitch regulator. In this mode, you choose the speed that will fit your quilting technique. The speed range for this mode is 5% to 100%. Adjust the speed in 5% increments by pressing the plus icon to increase the motor speed or minus icon to decrease the motor speed. If you are unsure of the motor speed you need, begin at 50%. Once the speed is adjusted, move the machine to where you would like to begin. Bring up the bobbin thread and create a knot by touching the icon and of course trim the threads. Press the start button and the stitch mode icon will indicate the machine is ready to move. In this mode, the needle starts cycling immediately, just like the idle mode. Now move the machine and you're quilting. If you need to stop in the middle, or have finished your quilting, press the start stop button to stop the machine from stitching. End the stitching by creating a knot, bringing up the bobbin thread, and trimming the threads close to the knot to keep the back of the quilt neat and tidy. Select the stitch mode and adjust the options of stitches per inch or motor speed to fit the type of quilting to be done and how you like to work. With your Tin Lizzy ESP machine, you have options galore! Please check back often for new videos added to the Tin Lizzy 18 website in the video library under the Service and Support tab. Thank you for viewing this video by Tin Lizzy, your affordable long arm quilters.